Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India So, uh, we have looked uh, till now on certain basic definitions of compressible flow and uh, Mach number and uh, speed of sound and then looked at uh, thermodynamics because it is integral to the uh, description of uh, uh, gas dynamics. So, let us uh, look at uh, a few numericals uh, so as to uh, familiarize with these uh, concepts and how to quantitatively look at these uh, numbers. So, in this uh, example mm, uh, 1, so a person on ground sights an aircraft right above his head flying at uniform altitude of 3 kilometers, uh, but hears its sound only when the aircraft is at a distance of 6 kilometer in his line of sight. Uh, calculate uh, the Mach angle and Mach number of the aircraft. Um, estimate the time for which he was in uh, zone of uh, silence. So, uh, it is always useful to sort of uh, look at it in a diagrammatic fashion. Okay, so, uh, now let us uh, look at uh, what has been given here, uh, it is good to represent it uh, diagrammatically. So, um, if you consider a person standing here and he observes um, an aircraft that is going right above his head, but at that time he did, did not hear anything. Okay, but uh, along his uh, line of sight, so this is his line of sight, and uh, when the distance is six kilometers, so this is three kilometer, uh, he is able to observe the uh, sound, or he is able to hear the sound of this aircraft. So. Um, that means, at that point of time the Mach wave uh, just passed uh, over that particular uh, point where the person was standing. So, that means, that this is the Mach angle over here you know, uh, and uh, then uh, uh, for we know that the Mach angle is uh, related to Mach number sin mu is 1 by m. Okay. So, directly from the trigonometric relation over here sin nu is 3 by 6 1 by m or you can get that Mach number is 2.0. Okay. Now, um, if you uh, consider um, this then uh, uh, the uh, second uh, point over here is that uh, estimate the time for which he was uh, in the zone of uh, uh, silence. Okay, so, uh, that is the second part to calculate the zone of silence we need to uh, find out the uh, time. Now, the distance that is actually moved on ground during this time is uh, this one which is x. So, by the aircraft. So, the time taken is uh, during this time is uh, Mm, t is uh, basically x by the velocity of the aircraft. Uh, now, the velocity can be calculated by the definition of Mach number itself. So, Mach number is v by a. So, you get uh, v is uh, m multiplied by the speed of sound. You need to know the speed of sound and the speed of sound is given here mm, uh, 328.58. So, you get the uh, velocity from that uh, velocity is uh, 657.16 meter per second. So, uh, now you need to find this x, so you can do it by uh, trigonometric relations. Okay. So, you know the angle here, angle is uh, if you know sin, sin is 1 by 2 
that means uh, angle is 30 degrees and then you can calculate x. Mm, so, x is uh, 5.1962 uh, uh, kilometers here. So, uh, then um, uh, time then is uh, t will be 5.1962 into 10 power 3 uh, divided by mm, the velocity 657.16 uh, which is uh, you get about 7.91 seconds ok. So, uh, this is related to the concept of uh, Mach angles and the concept that in uh, supersonic flows mm, you cannot uh, uh, cannot uh, know that an object is passing uh, right at the moment it is sighted or it is at that position, but at a later time when the Mach wave passes over that uh, particular point. So, there are definite directions of uh, um, uh, propagation of information in a supersonic uh, flow. Um, so, this is the concept that is uh, important over here. Now, let us uh, look at the uh, second uh, um, example which is uh, related to uh, thermodynamics ok. So, here um, the question is air is expanded in an insulated cylinder equipped with a frictionless piston. Uh, the initial temperature of air is uh, 1400 Kelvin. Uh, the original volume is one tenth of the final volume. So, uh, if I take two states say 1 and 2, uh, 1 state 1 and state 2, uh, initial temperature is given it is T1 is 1400 Kelvin and the original volume is uh, uh, 1 by 10th of final volume. So, what is given is uh, V 1 by V 2 is 1 by 10 uh, the final volume. Calculate the pressure ratio and uh, change in uh, temperature. So, how do we uh, go about uh, doing this? So, this involves um, uh, the uh, concepts of uh, the ideal gas and uh, also the concept that it is an insulated cylinder equipped with, with the um, frictionless piston. Now, uh, this is the case of an uh, adiabatic flow uh, without any friction or any irreversibilities. So, uh, any irreversibility. So, it is a reversible adiabatic uh, process and that uh, kind of a process is uh, the isentropic uh, process. So, it is an isentropic process that is uh, given over here. So, um, uh, we know the ratio of the uh, volumes. So, uh, the uh, corresponding uh, thing is P V power gamma is constant. Uh, this is the equation that you would uh, use here. So, um, what you would get is P 1. So, we need to uh, find out the ratio P 1 by P 2 is um, actually V 2 by V 1 whole power gamma. Uh, this is air so for air uh, gamma is 1.4 and uh, V 2 by V 1 is 10. So, because uh, V 1 by V 2 is. So, you get P 1 by P 2 is 10 power gamma which is 10 power Four. This is uh, 25.12. Okay, so the pressure in the initial case is higher, and it is uh, 25.12 times the pressure uh, at the final uh, point. Okay. So now the second uh, question is uh, that uh, calculate the change in uh, temperature. What is uh, change in temperature? That is, you need to know what is uh, delta T which is uh, T 2 minus T 1 uh, that if I divide this by T 1 I will get delta T by T 1 is T 
2 by d1 minus 1. Uh, now we know the process that is happening over here, uh, it is an isentropic process and uh, uh, the isentropic process we know the uh, relationships uh, between uh, the different um, uh, uh, quantities. So, now uh, uh, also uh, you can use uh, the P V is equal to R T uh, which is the ideal gas law and that means here you can use uh, P 2 V 2 by P 1 V 1. Uh, minus 1 because uh, r is a constant uh, in the case. So, you can use this. So, this you can write it in terms of um, so you have uh, uh, you have already found out what is uh, p 1 by p 2 and uh, v 1 by v 2. So, p 2 v 2 by p 1 v 1 minus 1. So, this can be written as 1. So, V 2 by V 1 is 10 and P 1 by P 2 is 25.12 minus 1. Okay. So, this comes out to be a negative number. So, and this gets multiplied by the T 1 which is. So, this is this number is 1400 Kelvin. So, you get a delta T that is change in temperature is equal to minus 842.67 Kelvin. Okay. So, uh, we have addressed the two things. So, the two uh, important concepts that uh, were in, uh, used here is the fact that uh, the uh, process involving an adiabatic uh, reversible uh, process is an isentropic process using that um, we were able to calculate um, uh, the pressure ratio uh, given the uh, volume ratios okay. and uh, the uh, concept of the ideal gas law to calculate the change in uh, temperature. Okay. So, uh, this is an example where these two concepts were involved. Now, let us go to uh, the third uh, numerical example. So, in this uh, air is allowed to um, expand from an initial state A where P A is, is, is equal to 0 0.068 into 10 power 5 um, pascals and um, temperature is uh, 333 Kelvin to a state B where uh, pressure at B as 1.034 into 10 power 5 pascals and that uh, temperature at B is 305 Kelvin. Uh, now, calculate the change in specific entro entropy of uh, air in an isobaric process from A to some intermediate state C followed by an isochoric process from uh, C to B. So, the state uh, movement from state A to B is achieved via an intermediate state uh, C uh, and the relationship is that uh, from uh, uh, A it goes to state C which is uh, through an isobaric process and then from um, C it is followed by an uh, uh, isochoric uh, change, okay, isochoric process. Okay. So, uh, this is the point. So, uh, let us uh, uh, and then represent these uh, processes on a P V and uh, uh, T S uh, diagrams. Okay, so, uh, uh, quickly if we look at the P V diagram because the pressure and um, so if you look at that. So, this is a P V diagram. So, P uh, V is given and uh, uh, we know that uh, temperature actually uh, increases when you go in this direction. So, T increases. So, you can draw uh, two uh, constant temperature isotherms or a constant temperature. So, this can be uh, the lower temperature which is T B and this is uh, T A 
and uh, uh, it is known that uh, this is say point A um, which is at higher pressure and this is at point B which is at uh, lower uh, pressure ok. And uh, so, the isochoric process uh, is uh, here uh, it is a vertical line and the isobaric process is a horizontal line passing through A. So, immediately from this description we see that uh, C is lying here uh, which is that means it has an increase in uh, temperature. So, here as it goes from this state to this state there is an increase in temperature um, and um, further followed by a reduction in uh, temperature and pressure. So, uh, this is the uh, advantage of using these uh, uh, charts that help us uh, uh, immediately without uh, uh, qualitatively understanding the uh, flow field or uh, the thermodynamic processes. So, now if we do uh, calculate it uh, numerically then uh, you can do it the concepts involved here are what is an isobaric process, what is an isochoric uh, process. So, since um, you know uh, uh, that you know that uh, P B um, equal to uh, this is known uh, P uh, C equal to P A and V C equal to V B ok. Now, uh, when both uh, pressure and temperature are given we can calculate V A is uh, uh, using the ideal uh, gas relation P V is equal to R T. So, V A is uh, R T by P you can uh, do the substitutions here this is air. So, we can take that and uh, 333 divided by 2.068 10 power 5 which is uh, equal to 0 0.4622 okay, uh, meter cube uh, per kg. Okay, so, similarly V B you can calculate this will be 287 305 divided by uh, pressure is 1.034 to 10 power 5 and this turns out to be 0 0.847 meter cube per kg. So, uh, so, directly we know V C is equal to V B. So, we know the value for V C here. So, we can calculate uh, T C can be calculated from here uh, that is uh, P um, it is P C V C by R uh, which is uh, P A uh, V B by R given the relations. So, here if you do plug in these numbers you will get this is 610. Uh, Kelvin. This is about 610 uh, Kelvin. Now, if you want to look at the entropy, then uh, change in entropy from A to C. That is what uh, you are uh, interested in. So, this is an isobaric process. So, delta S you can use the relation C P log of uh, T C by T A minus R log of P C by P A, but P C and P A are the same. So, this term goes off you directly get C P, C P is 1005 uh, log of uh, T C by T A, uh, T C is known here 610 by uh, T A, T A is uh, 333. So, this you should get uh, a value uh, close to 608 uh, joules per kg Kelvin specific change and uh, change for the process from uh, C to B this is A to C. Uh, for this it is a isochoric process. So, you could use C V log of uh, T uh, B by T C minus uh, plus R 
log of bb by bc and here it's an isochoric process so this goes off so you get uh, you you have to use the value of cv which is um, 1005 by gamma okay so this value if you plug it in uh, then you will get this as a negative number um, which is minus uh, 497.33 Mm, joules per kg Kelvin. So, uh, you can calculate the net change of entropy and uh, th that is uh, you can you have to add these two next change in entropy and you will get that delta S uh, is from A to B is about 110.6 joules per kg Kelvin. Uh, to cross verify you can always go back and just take because uh, entropy is going to be a state variable is a state variable you uh, just have to you know pressures and temperatures you can use this relation and uh, cross check that um, you get if you substitute uh, T B and P B uh, then you should get the same uh, number similar same number that you get over here. Okay, to now represent this on a TS diagram. So, uh, this is a TS diagram and uh, uh, the constant pressure process is a curve. So, starting from uh, a value over here which is A, yeah, it is a curve which goes up to a value over here because temperature increases and then uh, isochoric process is has a slight uh, higher um, slope. So, you come to a point here which has a slightly lower temperature, but you observe that uh, as we have seen uh, delta S is positive. So, here this is pressure equal to constant, this is uh, volume equal to constant. Okay. So, uh, this uh, particular example involves uh, calculation of entropies, ideal gas loss and uh, the thermodynamic charts. So, I think this is a good uh, sort of um, exercise uh, to be familiar with these uh, concepts. So, that when we go on to do uh, them in gas dynamics, uh, you do not have to, uh, uh, you become comfortable with these uh, uh, kind of computations. Uh, so, the next class we will start looking at uh, uh, fluid flow equations.